what's up y'all what it do welcome back y'all so y'all know i'm watching midnight man ayana don't leave no comment on this video because you already know why don't be ruining no endings of no episode or the next episode don't say nothing about if you is an ayana and let me tell you what an ayana is they gonna tell you the part that you ain't seen yet that they know what that happened in the movie if you are ayana don't do that that's not cute. It ruins it for the rest of us. Yeah, that's all we're gonna say about that. We just gonna keep it rolling. But what's up y'all, what it do? We on episode three. So y'all, this one gonna be real, real quick because it got, it's, it got right to the point. I'm gonna get right to the point. How about that? Cause they be getting to the point. It be me dragging out. So y'all know the priest had just got the girl to walk out the wheelchair, Lisa. Okay, so when the episode, when episode three come on, he gets a little dizzy and you can see him stumbling off and nobody really paying attention. Everybody paying attention that Lisa is up on her feet. Lisa is walking. Everybody just shocked. Everybody blow. Lisa turn around, hug her mama. Everybody just real. The congregation just real. Baby. Except for Miss King. So Miss King, you see him stumble off like weak like. So she followed him back to his house. And this is what I realized about the priest's house. He stayed in a house behind the church. So he stumbled off back behind the church to his house. And she follows behind him. He started throwing up blood. Mm, it was real gross looking. Um, he started throwing up blood. And then she asked him, is he all right? But y'all, let me tell you something that I noticed at this part. This is the part that I think Miss King now know that that priest is the old pastor. He the old man priest. But we just finding that out during this episode. So I'm finna let y'all know what I know. So we all know he not a priest. Well, y'all, if y'all watching this, y'all already watched this episode right along with me. So you already know he the priest too, just like me. But we just going over and we like, what? All right, bet. Okay. So she, I'm guessing this part because she was standing off looking. He was in the bathroom throwing up blood. And she was, she ran out behind him. She was like, is you okay? Is you okay? When he came back at the bathroom from throwing up, she was looking at that picture that he got on the wall, but they don't show us that. She just stand at the wall and then she looked to like a mirror um, at him. And then she like, it's a miracle. But she wasn't talking about the miracle that he just did on that girl and had her walking. He, she talking about the miracle of you the priest and you young because I guess he got a, a picture of himself in his house for when the priest first became the priest of the church that they in. And he young. And he is him. He looked just like him. He grow. I bet. Okay, so this episode is telling us that the priest is the new priest. It's the old priest. Boom. So let me tell you how he became the new priest. Okay, so y'all remember they sent him on that trip? This is how they told us, though. The um, priest went to confessional by itself ain't nobody on the other side of the thing he just confessing to god he's talking to god in his own he's like i'm confessing that i'm gonna have to lie to the congregation so he's saying that because this was right before he introduced himself as pastor paul hill and yeah boom all right so he was like the congregation didn't know that um John Pruitt, the pastor John Pruitt was sicker than he he had more his his dementia was worse than they thought it was. He was real bad off and blah blah. He kept wandering out from the group when that why they gone why he visited Jerusalem, girl or whatever. They don't sit that down passed off to him. He was too damn old to go. And when he saying his confession is like he's saying that the man was on earth longer than he should or whatever, whatever. All right, y'all. So the man get lost on the tour, and then he get in a sandstorm and find a little cave. He go in the cave, y'all. This is where we see the flying damn thing. The flying damn thing came over y'all, y'all. Okay, I take Jeepers Creepers black. The flying thing looked like a bat, a naked bat. You know them naked cats that people be getting. Ooh. Girl, that would look, mm, and it's white, and he got wings. Girl, he look like the devil. Probably. No, because he is. So anyway, the man, the whatever he is, that little flying man thing, jump on him and then bite him. 
and girl i don't know maybe some kind of vampire shit girl we don't know because it ain't like it's something real that we can compare it to it's like a big ass grown ass man with wings oh i think they said an angel so the man he is ugly but he look like a demon because he is ugly y'all know how i feel about ugly things i'm like uh on -uh, that thing too ugly baby when things that ugly how is it good because to me it's a sign from god when it's cute it's from god when it's ugly lord trying to let you know stay away from that that is the devil that is from the devil the uglier they are the uglier they get they is more of more of the devil all right bet so anyway whatever the man the thing jump on the man and beat the bite the man the man whatever praying to god and thank the thing for the killing y'all the man woke up the next morning and crawls out the cage because the damn storm is over and put his hand up and he like why my hand so young baby he is now paul hill well he went back in age this thing done bit him and turned him 50 years younger So, he's telling this in confessional, and then they showing us the imagery in the movie. Okay, so then, I'm going to just give y'all the whole confessions, because throughout this whole episode, he in the confessions, but then they just skip hop. Y'all know how to move do and show you other shit that's going on in the city that we not in right now, but I'll get to that later. Alright, so, the animal bit him, he come out younger, and then he like, I'm going to go and spread miracles to my city to where he come from which is girl i can't never think of the name of the city i promise next episode i'm gonna know the damn name of this city i'm gonna know the damn name of it all right bet so he like i'm gonna go and spread some miracles and blessings with my people i want to get the people of my church because they did love their house some period okay so and he wanted to go and get him because i think miss king is the devil okay and that's period and if she ain't she the closest thing on that island to one okay so boom he come back and the thing follow him he said everywhere he go every so every, however closer to the city he get the next day he'll wake up and the little thing with the flying thing is right there too so anyway he make it back to the city so do the thing okay so but he did this because he wanted to bring the miracles back to his city like he wanted to bless his city okay here's what's going on in the episode miss king girl you know how when people evil they'll find a way to work god and being evil like this lady attend church every day more than the average bear and she's still freaking evil she still got demented ways so anyway this lady gave um pastor son the bible this man is a muslim i'm guessing why this lady anyway they got the quran the pastor that's their religion she done gave his son at public school because she you know a school teacher they gave him so they having a meeting because pastor want her to understand how that's a public school but how giving a child a bible and that's not of their it's not it's not right like he have a we had a quran and that's what we study and that's i was like you shouldn't be giving your beliefs off on to somebody else's kids girl this lady's so evil she don't flip flop you know how them little manipulate manipulators be making you feel like you wrong for wanting the right thing done that's what she doing so she flips it and then make it not about what he's saying and then girl anyway so she did that that's the newest thing she did was give bibles out in public school miss keen ass okay so okay so y'all remember the pastor was throwing up he done passed out another time when he passed out he passed out after they had a meeting and then he passed out again i'm gonna get to that all right so the meeting at the meeting wait a minute gotta go back before the meeting before the meeting joe comes to the meeting which is the alcoholic who shot lisa who had her in the wheelchair why lisa went to his house y'all and forgave him had joe crying had me crying if you was anything you got emotions or feelings you cried too okay so she went there and just told him she had wished that he was living like he was living she was like i always wish you lived in a hellhole and you do <laughs> so 
um she told him that and then they cried about it but because in the end she was like i forgive you and i wish you forgive yourself it was just a heartwarming oh it was so good oh it was so good she gave the speech or the 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 bad way she felt about him at first and then it turned good at first i thought she was gonna kill him girl i thought she had a little knife she was gonna pokey pokey i was like oh no the girl ain't finna go pokey pokey joe is she but no no she a good little girl so she gave him a speech he cried joe ended up going to the meeting the aa meeting and now it's joe the pastor and um riley so they had they, they had a little AA meeting, really little AA meeting. Y'all know how AA meeting go. What else happened? Let me see. Cause all that little little fluff, little fluff. Pastor got sick. Okay, so Pastor was at the AA meeting. Then he cleaned up after that, and then he got ready to go home. When he got ready to go home, what's her name? Miss Keen is there with the mayor and his wife, which is um lisa's parents and she was they was just saying she wanted to set up him a dinner she wanted the mayor to speak and blah 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 the pastor did so much for them since he'd been here and they was all saying yeah 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 the pastor walked in y'all and died now let me tell y'all something when he was dying and choking like that because also in this episode she just now put that poison back up in the thing i was like girl this good i'm poisoning something and the pastor got a hold to it now she done killed the damn pastor that what i thought when i seen the pastor dying that one two pastor died y'all and came back to life look i ain't got time baby I ain't got five minutes five minutes they got baby y'all got one more damn time one more damn time now, Pastor done sat here and died in front of y'all and came back to life. So, let me tell y'all why I said that I said that she seen it was him in that picture and then bum, bum, bum. Because she stopped calling him Pastor and she started calling him Monsignor. But they only called Monsignor, Monsignor, the first old pastor. So, why all of a sudden, now when he fell down and it's your first time talking to him, we hear you say his name. Why you call him Monsignor this time? That's why I think, that's why I think she knew something that's why she said it's a miracle that's why she figured out it's him boom that's that yeah so what was the end part the girl when they got oh the dad and the mama riley dad and mama they now you know reading at the end of the night you know how the old couples do back in the day you know on their separate couches just living in pure bliss pure quiet bliss Mwah. So she read a book. He over there read a magazine or whatever, whatever. And then he get up to put a rec play on. He feel like, my back don't hurt. He get up, he dance with his wife. The girl come, Lisa, knock on the window of Riley, little brother, and tell him to come out the window. She got that twirling like, baby, my leg is on full throttle. What's up? What's popping? So they go get on that little boat that they get in to go over there to the uppers. But they don't go to the uppers. They kiss being fast and wrong. Girl, as soon as you got, as soon as you got to last, back to getting fast. Riley left out the house too and went and go sat on the porch with Miss um with Aaron. I like I like all the couples. I like all the couples. Oh, they so cute. What else happened? What was the end of this episode? Cause you know the ending always be a clap clap. End of this was the pastor falling down um and dying and then waking back up from his own damn deal. Let me see. Did I hear everything? The girl got up. She went and seen Joe. Blah, blah, blah. The school. The dating. Y'all, so yeah, that's everything that happened in this episode. Like I said, it was all real about telling us that pastor is pastor. It's the same old man. He just turned young. Um, the sheriff and his son was praying one night. Daddy turned the light off. Why the little, the little man, flying man, I, I saw his one. He turned the light off. He see the little white ghost face. And then he like, he sounded like, what happened? He was like, oh, nothing. I thought I saw something. Oh, no, you thought you did, because you did, because you definitely did. But, yeah, yeah, that's the end of this episode, and I can't wait. So, I'm going to watch the next episode now, because it's definitely nighttime. I'm going to watch the next episode now, and then I'll tell y'all about the episode. I'm probably going to start filming episodes at night while it's fresh on my mind, because I'll be forgetting a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, but, yeah, that's episode. That's three, and I'll see y'all at four. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And if you watch episode three, and if you have comments about the series, only comment from one, two, and the three. Don't go no further. Don't talk about four. Don't talk about five. Don't talk about six, seven, eight, nine. Wait on us. Period. And I'll see y'all next one. Bye, y'all.